So here we are again with Fallout New Vegas, the take a weapon, drop a weapon challenge. Rules are in the description as well as a video which goes over the rules. And uh, yeah, it's time to continue on with, I guess, Camp McCarran and helping out and getting to the monorail and all that stuff. Um, so first off, this, these are the weapons I have right now. Bladed Gauntlet, the Grenade, Incinerator, and the Golf Driver. Nefi's Golf Driver, to be more precise, which is very, very powerful, apparently. Um, and there's a grenade box here. Chances are it holds frag grenades, although I guess it could have pulse grenades. Or plasma grenades. But nope, more frag grenades for me. Ammo boxes, let's get that. Another ammo box, let's grab that. Um, but actually, what I want... Um, so let me just see. We need stim packs. I have eight stim packs and no super stim packs, so I'd like to find some stim packs, ideally. And I already looted some of the medical boxes, but I think there are more stim packs. Uh, in the medical, no, not the medical tent, the supply tent, which is. No, that's not it. Uh, that's not it. There are some ammo boxes here, though. Let me grab that. Although it's not stealing from these ammo boxes, but it's stealing from the um, from the other ones, which is kind of weird, if you ask me. Uh, no. In here, maybe. Ah, here we go. And you're here. I'm just gonna loot this. No stim packs, which is weird because in the original part 44, whatever it is that I did, there were a ton of stim packs there. And now there aren't. Um, I mean, not a ton of stim packs just necessarily here, but I picked up a ton of stim packs amongst all like the first aid boxes, and uh, here I'm just not getting any. Oh, here we go, three stim packs. Rebound right away, doctor's bag. That we got some ammo boxes. Let's grab these. Stay hidden though, so I don't get caught. I'm allowed to steal from these ones though, but not. Wasn't allowed to steal from these two, which. No, oh, that's kind of weird. Um, can I steal any of this food? No, you're not gonna let me do that, are you? Oh wait. Um, well, no, never mind. Actually, the way to do it is this way. It's just to carry it out and then do that. But I'm not going to do that with all those items, so maybe I'll try to pick them up later on when nobody's around. Um, are there any other medical boxes here though? Because I got these two already. Oh, another doctor's bag. Got these two. Um, oh, I didn't get any of this stuff. Cat eye. Anti-venom, okay, purified water, a couple more purified waters, uh, oh, look, is that, that's the, that's, um, right away. Um, what, what, what's happening? I just want the right away, okay. I'll just let you keep messing up their physics and whatever else is going involved or, or is involved in those items just going crazy. So I'm going to go and find the colonel. I'm going to go and help him out. I'm going to do his quest, whatever his quest is. I think I remember saying he had a few things. So, that NCR trooper here, I'm just going to steal stuff from right under your nose. I think I got what I want there. And, got to find the colonel. But actually, first, let me see. Can I talk to, oops, can I talk to this guy here, please? You still got like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Yeah, do you need any help? Yeah, so far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. 
But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. Okay. We captured an honest-to-God centurion of Caesar's legion recently. Oh, okay. Better believe it. Everybody, everybody in Caesar's legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's right. this guy, who's an elite commander in their army and he just gives himself up. Even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. Oh, and so you took him in, even though you knew obviously that's what he wanted. You you trust him. To well not trust him, but you expect him to tell you stuff. Just because he gave himself up, but Are you sure this isn't a trap? Because uh listen, I, I don't know. I think that's Sounds like a trap, Lieutenant Boyd, he asked me. Well, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. No, no, Only that's that's a man who's setting you up. You. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get it. Have you ever seen The Dark Knight? Well, well, why don't you just beat your prisoner senseless? I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Uh, Problem maybe. is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There's some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's true. That's a winning combination. I am pretty insane. I mean, as far as he knows. Um, so, you want me to do I what you can't. if you can. rough him up enough and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So all right. let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. But well, we do want him to talk. Okay, let's get started. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then... Okay, and then you call me in. Sounds like a plan. While you do that, I'm going to steal a Nuka-Cola from your vending machine. Long time no see, Silas. Well, while you talk to him... Just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a legion slave. Smoking kills you. Oh, pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. And why? It's all the rage in fashion circles. Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. Wow. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were going to give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? I don't. Of course. My friend doesn't. See, that's what I said. Oh, and Silus, if you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in. He's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. Okay, yeah, no problem. Uh, well, wait, 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 wait. But what if he goes crazy? I need my weapons. Uh, great. All right, fine. So, yeah, she automatically takes them. So I got my frag grenades, though, so I can blow us both up. Me and Silus, if, uh, if it comes to it. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? You smell like excrement, so they... Okay. Um... You're nothing. No. You're some inept mercenary the NCR is paying to supplement its own incompetent soldiers. Okay. Um, Caesar sees you as a threat now. We are both slaves to Caesar's law, and you are invited. Actually, I should say Kaiser, but that's. I posed as a mercenary to get inside the walls. Yeah, let's go with that. Listen, Kaiser's secrets are safe with me. 
I stayed alive because Kaisar would have wanted it. Really? I'm useless to him dead. I was just told you're all supposed to kill yourselves before you get captured. You're a danger to him alive. I've told them nothing. They've gotten nowhere. I'm a Kenturian for Christ's sake. I deserve his trust. Caesar's, uh, Kaiser's laws are absolute. He does not grant exceptions. You have to let this go. I'll disappear. No one will ever see me again. That was always the plan in the first place. So in addition to treason, you're also a deserter. No, that's not what I meant. I, Lieutenant, this man is trying to kill me. He's not who you think he is. Really? Lieutenant? Oh, that shouting. Honestly, Silas, you get free room and board. The least you could do is be a good guest. Lieutenant, this man is an agent of the Legion on a mission to kill me. No, I'm not, no, Lieutenant. We have an active imagination today, don't we? Think about it. Is it worth the risk? You need what I know. Well, it sounds like the two of you are becoming fast friends. It'll be your head if I die, Lieutenant. You'll be disgraced. You know what? I think you're right, Silus. Of course I'm right. Except, I don't care. Because it'll be worth it. Oh. It'll be worth it to never have to hear you say another word, Silus. Carry on. Oh. Lieutenant. Silus. You don't have to do this. It's just me and you. Well, I, f I actually follow S uh, Kaiser's orders, unlike you, Silus. If I had killed myself, then I would have been murdering one of Kaisar's greatest soldiers. Either choice is a betrayal of the Legion, as I see it. I've done everything Kaisar ever asked of me, and this is how I am repaid. With assassination, I ambushed countless NCR patrols and wiped them out so that our operatives could move freely. I waited for him to dispatch us for three days, never questioning why the headaches he complained of would hinder his ability headaches. to Headaches? Headaches? Okay. Let's just continue listening. I haven't breathed a word about the officer we planted here. He continues to radio intelligence to Kaisar's camp nearly every night. I've proven every the night. Loyalty. All you're doing is killing a loyal soldier. And there is if someone planted Kaisar's here. Policy, then I say his empire will crumble. There's someone planted here. Okay. So now, if his, if his empire falls, it'll probably be because his centurions are so gullible. What? What do you mean? You've been tricked. I'm, I've been working with the NCR. I just got you to talk. No, you slimy bastard. Nothing I've said will change the outcome for you. No force can hold back the tide of the Legion. This camp and everyone in it will burn. That's nice. Lieutenant, I got you to well. talk. I don't know how you did it without putting a scratch on him. And I'm a little disappointed personally, but it saved the NCR some face. And it could save us more than that when all is said and done. I'm going to talk to some people when we're through here. This is about double the standard fee we'd give a consultant, but from what I saw, you're more of an artist. So think of this as your commission. Nice, I got commission. Okay, so that's done. Now let's go talk to the colonel. Now we got that little side thing out of the way. And, uh... Colonel should be on the bathroom. This should be his office. Yep, here we go. Oh no, you're the captain. Wait, where's the colonel then? Um, hang on. Colonel would be over on this side then, probably. Yes, what is it? You're the Colonel. Um, as we spoke about before, um, let's see what we've got here. I think the quest, yeah, they're here. Mm -hmm. Well, why not? Give Walk me a the week. Arrival. At least I can safely rule you out as the leak. Yep. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical, right? So I have to look into the leak. Going right now. Lately, Every it raid is already supplemented. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. Captain Curtis, huh? I got gotcha. you. Let's go talk to Mr. Curtis.
You're back. I think actually we're supposed to talk to her at some point during the quest. But, um, Curtis is this one over here. I just accidentally ran into mistaking his office for the nice colonel's. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Colonel wants me to help you look into the recent intelligence. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last lead went cold weeks ago. Oh no, where should I start? You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd, or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Contreras. You surprise many leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. Okay. Alright, well, thank you, Captain. And... There is a Lieutenant Boyd, who I am very friendly with. I helped her out big time before, actually just a few seconds ago. And are you going through the escalator? You got something to say, or do you always look like that? No, but you're going through the escalator. It's very weird, and... You're stuck. You... some... Okay, hey, I'm gonna talk to you before you sink in, into there. Um, have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Now, what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Okay, and who's missing? Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. He left on a dangerous assignment. Colonel Shu sent him out. Shoo. Now I think okay. he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. Alright, um... What else can you tell me? I don't know him very well myself. I seem to remember that he was the man to call on if you needed someone to get in and get out quietly. Colonel Shu would really be the person to talk Okay, fine. Um, what about the break-ins? Maybe break-in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry, but I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. Right, and then we have it's to... It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy... Wait until, like, midnight but... and then go after them. Alright, would you be willing to help give me the control sure. access key? And she does. Okay, good. So now we can go and take care of that. Um, no, wait, it's not out there. Where is it? It's. Oh, uh, under here, maybe? Um, oh, through these doors here. Hold on. Um, gotta maybe save, but. So we have to wait here until night, and then go after Colonel. I mean, not Colonel. Um, whoever the spy is, I, th I think it's. I think it was um, the captain. Oh, okay, I just made a save, and actually now I've got to wait. I think it happens like right at midnight. So we'll load up 11.38. Um, let's see. Let's sneak over here because I think should be coming out that door. Um, oh, let me just put this stuff back in its place, including the almighty bladed gauntlet. Gotta make sure that's hot keyed. Now we just wait. Should be any minute now. Uh, uh, it's just him up there. Um, maybe he's already in there. I missed him.
No, he's not in there. He's supposed to be talking to one of his Legion people, and he's not there. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, oh, wait. There he is. Yep, it's Captain Curtis. We will just let him... Let him make his way over here. Stay out of sight. Stay back here. And honestly, I think I'm probably going to kill him, too. Probably going to kill him because he's a Legion spy and he's trying to do something. Okay. He's going to head on in. Serious Pikus, over. Go ahead, Pikus. Afternoon patrol enters Fiend territory at 1300. Have them mind that stretch. 10 4, Pikus. Fiends will be alerted. Roger, Lupin. What's the status of your primary mission, Pikus? Charges are set. Detonation will occur as the train leaves the station. Over. How long? Okay. A couple of minutes. Over. 10 4, keep us updated. What are you doing here? You don't have clearance. Um. Is there a bathroom in here? I can't let Oh, great. Hey. Let's just blow him up. I'm just gonna fire at him until he's dead. What kind of fight is this? Like, I am burning him alive. And I just exploded him. Alright, let's see. So he's got a pistol. Which I've got to drop. He's got an activation code. Um... A control tower access code, a combat knife I gotta take, and oh, that means I've gotta drop the driver. Oh, I didn't even really get to use it, did I? Oh well. Drop that, drop that. As long as I keep my bladed gauntlet, we're all good. But I needed that control access code because I believe um, I need something for the train. Actually, yeah, there's a terminal here too. I guess I could just unlock the door with this. Um, Um. 
Plus, that's what's gotta be, yep. Oh, it doesn't unlock the door. But it does tell me who's, who I guess, soldiers who are on duty. Shows me some of the times people enter. Ah, okay. All right, well, it doesn't matter now I already did this. But I do want to heal up, actually. Iguana bits. Some dog meat. Okay, that should be good enough. Health. All right, now back down. Uh, back now. Actually, I've got to go over to the monorail. First, of course, before I stop a bomb, I must get myself some drinks and Nuka Colas. Well, I guess that's a drink too. Well, those are drinks. And here's the monorail. So let's go in here. And let's see. Uh, where is it? Uh, in here? Ah, here we go. The device looks as though it is armed and could go up at any moment. I have a science of over 45. Oh, so I didn't actually even need to loot him. So I could have kept the driver and the incinerator. Oh, shoot. I didn't know I'd, I'd have the explosive skill high enough. I, I didn't realize there was a science check either, but. All right, let's do it. So we've defused the bomb, which means we've saved the day. The monorail is good to set off and ride into New Vegas once again. So Colonel, let's go talk to him. Colonel Shu. Yes, what is it? Well, guess what? You won't be having problems with intelligence leaks anymore. No? What happened? It was Curtis. He's in the Legion. I can prove he tried to blow up the monorail. Curtis? He's been in the NCR long before our conflict with the Legion. There's just no way. I hope you're mistaken, but somehow I don't think so. It explained a lot. This is much worse than anyone expected. There could be others, too. Yeah. You've done everything that was asked of you. You have my personal thanks for this. I'll make sure you receive the credit you deserve. Cool. What about, who are the fiends? As in chem fiends. Well, I know who the fiends are. But every day Ball there's three. of them and less of a hell of a thing losing a ranger. You come to depend on them, and they come through for you so... Yeah, he tells us about, yeah, Vault 3. That vault is a hornet. Watch for civil... Is he Anders? For us, Bryce Anders. Anders, yes. Anders That's who I'm... Um, the leader, Motor Runner. Lieutenant Boyd mentioned. You hear something like a chainsaw? You found Motor Runner. Put a bullet in his head, and you'll have some new friends around here. I'll keep that in mind. Um... I thought he was going for the NCR. Could be better. I'll say that much. We set up here with our sights set on annexing New Vegas. It's a lot of resources that could do a lot of good for us. That hasn't if happened anything, yet. they annexed us. They rake in the profits from our soldiers, and we're stuck protecting them from the lead. Huh. Where does that leave you? Now we're trying to secure the strip and the dam at the same time, and it's costing us. And in the meantime, General Oliver won't approve any offensive maneuvers because he doesn't want to risk losing our positions. So we're in a holding pattern here. And Caesar's on the other side of the river, planning. It's true, that is what he's doing, he's planning. And he's got a headache, he's got a headache. Keep that in mind, Colonel. Bye. Alright, so we gotta level up here, and, uh, what am I gonna level up? What am I gonna level up here? Let's bump up lockpick a little bit. 
Um, let's get guns up more. Actually, no, I want sneak up. I just want to get sneak up to 80. Yeah. And then let's get it. Not repair. Science. Alright, then we're going to go with guns. Just put one into guns. And then that's it. Okay, so I helped him out, and now there's this quest here. A little busy at the moment, but I can talk. What is this place? This? The OSI lab. We don't get me. Smoke Nobody ever smoke. said science would... Are you a scientist? I know, I... Yeah, you're a scientist, okay. Need help with anything? You mean, give you work? No, that'll be up to the administrator, Hildren. He's back there in his office. Between you and me, I don't think he ever leaves. Plenty of mercs go in to see him, though. Okay, what for? I can't say. We're not supposed to talk about the research, not the details. If you're interested, I'm sure he'd see you. Okay, well, I will see him. Hey, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? Uh, yes, that's right. Wonderful. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. Ball 22. Where to begin? Save the sales pitch. Just tell me what to All do. Right. Straight to the point. I believe that the inhabitants of Ball 22 unlocked the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Okay, yeah, I'll do Good. it. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your pip boy and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Of course I will. Um, but that said, anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data will be handled by your pit boy You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. No insult intended, of course. None taken. But I had some other oh. questions. Actually, no, I don't have any other questions. Um, did Dr. Hildern, this really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? Yes, he asked me to get some data from I Vault 22. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. Then about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect. But she's an absolute genius, and... and he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? No, he said it's gonna be pretty easy. But now he's hired you. Which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley, and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc, but I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. I'll try, but no promises. That's all I ask. She might even be able to help you, as long as you don't speak too well of Dr. Hildern. Okay, all right. Um, so, that's fine. So let's just head out there and do that. But we're not going to do that in this part, because that's actually the end of this part. Um, next time, though, I'll go to Vault 22 and take care of that. I do want to see something. Can I use the monorail yet? Uh, which way is it? I think it's up here. Yeah, monorail. See? It's a big sign that says monorail. Sorry, no civilians on the monorail. Any closer, and I am authorized to use deadly force. No, I am not allowed to use the monorail. 
When can I use... Do I have to put on an NCR outfit? Oh, do I have an NCR outfit? I don't. I'm practically a member of the NCR now. Come on. I, I, I sit... You can got, I... You're back. Can I use the monorail? Not the kind of things you like to see go missing. No witnesses yet. I've got my money on Sergeant Contreras, who's supposed to be in charge of distribution, the little weasel. But he's too slick to let anyone catch him doing it. We've searched his possessions a dozen times. Nothing. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for them. Good. The more guns you can recover, the more I'll be able to use to shoot Contreras for being inept. Well, uh, I'll keep that in mind. But I guess I should talk to Sergeant Contreras then for that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this part. And uh, like I said, next time I'll do Vault 22. I'll, also, I'll probably do this thing first. Let's see then if I can access the monorail if they'll let me go in if I become an honorary member of the NCR. Or at least allowed to use the monorail. So um, yeah, we'll see how all that goes. But, uh, but yeah, but for now that's it. And I will see you next time.